This is Richard Wolf responding to another Ask Prof. Wolf question from our Patreon community. And this one is a question from Rory Kramer. Rory wonders whether um, a grocery delivery chain uh, that has not so far uh, cut workers' pay or asked them to take any kind of cut in benefits and so on, uh, whether I think these kinds of companies, and indeed companies in general, are going to be doing that in the near future. And the short, unhappy answer I have to give you to that question is, I'm virtually certain that they will. Not, of course, every company. A company that's doing really well anyway might be tempted to take advantage of its doing well in a difficult time and not stick it to its own employees. But that will be the exception. Here is going to be the rule, the norm. And this is not a prediction based on anything other than repeated experiences in the past history of capitalism. When unemployment comes, especially when it's large unemployment, and especially when it is sudden unemployment, and no one knows how long it will last, employers suddenly have an opportunity and an advantage, and it will be a rare employer who does not take advantage of it. Here's the advantage. When you have millions of people out of work, as we do in the United States today, with the prospect of many millions of those staying out of work for who knows how long, those people become, those unemployed people, more desperate each day. Why? Well, their unemployment insurance in most cases, if they even have it, uh, is low, is less than their income. So they begin to cut back, but also to dip into their savings. Most working people don't have much in the way of savings, so they run out of savings pretty quick. Most working people have debts, credit card, mortgage, auto payments, college education loans. Those are demanding repayment of interest and principal. And you don't want your car repossessed, do you? You don't want to lose your home, do you? You don't want to get a bad credit score. You can see the pressures on you, so you can't really work very long without income. It becomes unbearable. And then on top of it, you're full of anxieties. Will the job you left be there when you want it back? Will the employer give it to you? Well, employers know all of this, and they therefore understand that they can now go to the still employed worker, their regular workers that haven't been laid off, and they can say to them, look, John, or look, Mary, I'm sorry to do this, I really am, but I'm going to have to cut your salary. You know, we've had a pandemic. It's been very hard on the company, and I'm going to have to cut back whatever I provide to you in the form of benefits, and you'll need to come in a half an hour earlier, and you get the picture. And the employer does it because the employer knows that there are ever more desperate unemployed people out there who would jump at the job, even with a reduced salary, reduced benefits, longer hours, and all the rest. So yes, in most cases, employers will take advantage of the downturn to make the problems for working people even harder than they were before. And even the employers who wouldn't do it discover that their competitors are doing it. And so in a sense, they have to go along or they'll be driven out of business. It's not the particular employer. It's the system. That's how the system works. It imposes these behaviors on the employers, but it's the employees who suffer the most. And the problem there is not the employer. He's just the last step in a long process. The problem is the system.
So thank you very much, Rory Kramer and our Patreon community. This is Richard Wolf for Democracy at Work.